Wolf administration has gone from recommending you wear a mask to what it says is requiring you wear a mask in this new order under certain conditions. Now, as far as law enforcement of this goes, the administration says at this point, law enforcement will not issue citations to those not wearing masks, but instead, quote, rely on the good sense and cooperative spirit of Pennsylvanians. Now, we took a look at the order and wanted to share with you what is required to try to eliminate confusion. If you're outdoors and unable to consistently maintain distance of six feet from people not in your household, wear a mask. Indoors, where the public is permitted. If you're taking public transportation or ride sharing, wear a mask. If you're obtaining health care services, such as at a hospital, a pharmacy, a dental office, at the workplace, indoors or out in a common area, or if you're engaging with people and particularly with food preparation. Now, there are exceptions. If you have medical conditions that affect your breathing or respiratory issues, you do not have to wear a mask. If it would make for unsafe work conditions, such as operating equipment, if you're unable to remove a mask without assistance, if you're under two years of age, and if you're communicating with the hearing impaired. Now, Health Secretary Dr. Rachel Levine spoke this morning on KDKA News Radio about the news, new order. It's very clear that this is a very important public health measure to protect uh, and prevent the community spread, as um, has been seen in those southern states. And, of course, here in Pennsylvania, certain areas have been issuing more restrictions in Pittsburgh and Philadelphia due to a spike in cases in Pennsylvania, but not like what we've been seeing in the Sun Belt areas. So, for example, if you are walking on a trail, going back to the mask issue, and it's crowded, wear a mask. If you're walking alone in the woods, you shouldn't have to wear a mask. We'll have more on this issue coming up throughout the day. For now, I'm Barbara Barr, live in Lancaster County for WGAL News 8.